Hello everyone. Today we will start with the fresh topic bonding in coordination compounds. Now it, it has been found that uh, coordination compounds, in coordination compounds the metals and ligands which are joined with each other and depending upon the different properties shown by the coordination compound, their properties in aqueous solution, their uh, magnetic properties, the properties uh, of uh, showing color. So all these different uh, properties led the scientists to find that uh, how these compounds are formed, how metals and ligands are joined to each other, uh, what type of bonding is there. So on the basis of that definitely they will show certain uh, specific uh, properties. Fine. Now <coughs> regarding that we have uh, different different theories. We will start with the first uh, attempt to find the structure of coordination compound is by Berner's theory. Alfred Berner in 1892 uh, have made so many different compounds by the reaction between cobalt chloride and ammonia in uh, different compositions with ammonia. So uh, different compounds which he have formed are shown here. Uh, these different compounds having different molecular formula which are formed by the different composition of cobalt chloride and ammonia. Now all these different compounds are found to found to be of uh, different different colors. Fine. Now how he tested these compounds? In order to elucidate their structure he made one attempt. He have dissolved all these compounds in aqueous solution and followed by silver nitrate test. So that means uh, he wanted to know that how many free chloride ions are present in the compound which can react with the silver ion to form precipitates, white precipitates of HCl. So he quantitatively measured those precipitates, how much amount of precipitate is formed and then he converted that amount into moles of HCl. So what he has found, he has found that in the first case, the compound having this molecular formula if it is dissolved in aqueous solution, followed by a silver nitrate test, it gives us 3 moles of AgCl. So this shows that this particular compound when dissolved in water gives you 3 free Cl negative ions. Fine. <coughs> in the second case, you get 2 AgCl, that means that this particular compound will give you only 2 Cl free negative ions in the solution. In case of third one, it gives one AgCl, that means only one Cl is free, which can uh, free present in aqueous solution and react with a silver nitrate. Similarly, in the last case, a different molecular formula, content of ammonia is decreasing in the compound. In this particular case, when it is made to react with silver nitrate and aqueous solution, it gives no precipitates of AgCl. So all these uh, different behavior of these compounds, they led Berner to give his theory. So let's discuss in brief, I have uh, just <coughs> briefly uh, presenting the Berner theory. So uh, let's see in Berner, Berner theory, how he treats, how he discuss this uh, different different properties. So <coughs> according to Berner, metal shows two type of valences. It shows two type of valences. One known as primary valence shown like this primary and another is secondary valence. So usually we know this is secondary. In ionic compound, for example, you have a compound uh, like this, like this, right? In this particular compound, cobalt chloride, cobalt is present in plus 3 oxidation state, which is uh, satisfied by 3 Cl negative ions, right? So in this particular compound, it, is, it shows only one type of valency, which is primary valency, uh, which is satisfied by the negative ions to give you a neutral compound cobalt chloride. Why? But as the compounds formed by Werner, they contain ammonia X 
molecules of ammonia are also present in the compound. So this shows that now it is easy to understand why Cl is present in the compound. Probably it will be present to satisfy the uh, oxidation state of cobalt. But what these neutral species is doing in the compound, what these, how these neutral species are coordinated to the central atom, that is cobalt. So this was a very difficult situation and how he dealt with this situation. He said that matter forming such type of compound always show two type of valencies, primary valency and secondary valency. Right? Now how he tells about these type of valency, primary valency is related to oxidation state, oxidation state of matter. Right? And the ions, the primary valency is said to be ionizing. That is, those species which satisfy primary valency, when dissolved in water, this compound is dissolved in water, those species will be free in water. Right? So that means, <coughs> and moreover, primary valency according to Bernard is always satisfied by negative ions only, only by negative ions. About secondary valency he said that secondary valency correspond to coordination number of matter which varies from matter to matter. That means with how many neutral or negative species a particular uh, central atom can combine in the compound. And coordination number, related to coordination number he said that those species which satisfy coordination number of matter, they will be unionized in a solution. And coordination number or secondary valency is always satisfied by both, it can be satisfied by both negative or <coughs> neutral species. Right? So this is the gist of Berner's theory, matter showing two types of valency, primary, secondary. Primary corresponding to oxidation state of the metal and it is ionizable, satisfied by only negative ions because some positive oxidation state is there. Then secondary valency correspond to coordination number of metal, unionized in echo solution can be satisfied by both negative and neutral species. Fine. So let's see how the structures of the compounds are given by Werner on the basis of his postulates. Let me take the first one. The first, as the compound cobalt chloride, 6 ammonia. According to Werner, the cobalt, oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3 and the coordination number of cobalt is 6. Fine. Now, <coughs> there should be something to satisfy the plus 3 oxidation state and there should be something to satisfy the coordination number that is 6. So, uh, different, the structures given by Werner the primary valency is shown by dotted lines around cobalt and the secondary valency is shown by bold lines right, uh, around the central atom and if there is some species which satisfy both primary and secondary valency then it will be shown like both dotted and dark lines. Right? So let's see the structure of this compound. In this compound, we know this compound gives, as I have already told you, three AgCl, three moles of AgCl. As